Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you use the brush tool in Photoshop, you have a choice to specify the blending mode from the options bar. What is a blending mode? Well, a blending mode is a setting that allows you to dictate how the colors will blend when they overlap. You can set color blending modes in several places in Photoshop, but this is the first time that we've seen it, although it will come up at later points in the lessons. When you discuss blending modes, it may be helpful to think of the colors used in these terms. The base color is the original color in the image. The blend color is the color being applied or overlaid. The result color is the resulting color produced by the interaction of the blend color and the base color. So let's take a look at some of the blending modes and the settings and what they do to the colors. We'll go back up into the options bar and select mode and we'll see the drop down here. Now you can look in lesson 5.3 in the introductory manual and there's a complete list of all the different modes and a description of what each of them do. Let's take a look at just a couple. First off we have normal. If we wanted to go into our image with our brush selected and just start painting here we could do that and we'll just apply some red paint. Now with normal still selected, if we choose a different color using the color picker, we'll go ahead and paint over that and you'll see that with normal set it just paints right over that other color. Let's choose a different mode. We'll choose for example darken and darken looks at each pixel and makes the result color the darker of the base or the blend color. So we can click in there and you'll see how that looks. Let's choose another one. We'll use overlay. Now overlay multiplies or screens the colors depending on the base color. Color is overlaid but retains the highlights and shadows of the base color. You'll see a very subtle change there as you're painting. And we'll look at one more. If we look at subtract for example and choose that, subtract actually subtracts the blend color from the base color based on all channel color info. So we'll click on it and start to paint and you'll see what that does. So we have quite a few choices here with our blending modes. You can play around with them until you get your desired effect as you're using the brush tool. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.